name is Pastor Erin and it is so good to be with you and you know I always love to know who's watching with me so on the count of three shout out your name. Are you ready? One, two, three. So good. I'm glad you could make it. Well we're on week three of Think About It. Well, let's play a little game. I'm going to give you the a letter. I'm going to say a letter, and I want you to shout out the first food that pops into your mind that starts with that letter. But first, we're going to start with the first letter of our name. So my name starts with an E. Your name might start with a different letter. So whatever letter your name starts with, Let's think of a food and shout it out. Are you ready? One, two, three, egg! <laughs> Wonder what food you shout it out. Okay, so I'm gonna say a few other letters and you shout out the word that comes to you first and then I'll shout out a word that came to me. Okay, ready? A food that starts with the letter B. A banana! Did anyone else say a banana? All right, a food that starts with the letter W. Watermelon? A food that starts with the letter P. Purple popsicle! Did anyone else say purple popsicle? They were my favorite when I was your age. I still like them actually. All right, and a food that starts with the letter C. What about cupcakes? Okay, here's your last one. Are you ready? Let's get those thinking caps on. A food that starts with the letter H. Anyone say hamburgers? Or maybe hot dogs? What did you say? All right, well, I know it, that was fun thinking about foods that start with certain letters and I wonder what food starts with a Z. Does anyone know? If you know, you can let me know. How many of you thought of something different than what I said? Well, just like we thought about foods that started with different letters, God wants us to think about what is right. <laughs> Our thoughts are powerful and what we think about affects how we feel and what we do. We can live the best lives possible when we catch our thoughts, we check our thoughts, and we let God change our thoughts. He will help us to think about what is right. And that's what we need to know today. Think about what is right. Awesome. If you are ready, then I think it's time to go check out what is happening in the creation station today. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, my name is Clay. Will you create with me today? Come join the Creation Station and think. Hello there, friends. My name is Clay, and I want to welcome you to the Creation Station. We call this the Creation Station because God is a creative God. So that means we are creative, too, because He made us to be like Him. Oh, I forgot to introduce you to my friends, Buttons and Dot. Heidi ho my name is Buttons, and this is my friend Dot. We are so excited to have you join us. Yeah, we are. And I was thinking, would you like to be makers with us today? Yes. Yes. Dot, that's a great idea. I love the way you think. Uh, before we start this craftastic day, everyone stand up and let's sing a song together. Oh, what, what fun. fun. Get up, turn around, jump around Everybody singing in the name 
You sounded amazing! You can take a seat. When we craft and create together here, there are two rules we follow. Can you tell our new makers the rules of Creation Station? Of course we can, Clay! Boys and girls, let me see you wave one hand and say, Be kind! Be kind! We can be kind by staying quiet so we can hear each other and not miss any instructions for our special projects. That's right. Now, let me see you wave two hands and say, be safe. Be, be safe. safe. We can be safe by keeping our hands and craft tools to ourselves and staying in our seats so we don't mess up anyone's creation. That's it. Easy peasy. Oh, did you hear that? Buttons and dot. Colorful crayons, I sure did. Makers, that sound means we have another maker friend who wants to show us the creation they've been working on. That's right, let's check it out and see what's crafting. Hey Clay, hey Buttons and Dot, my name is AJ. Today at school, I saw my teacher with a really cool bookmark. So I came right home to make one for myself. Hmm. I think I've got it! Well, I really like my new bookmark. Look at it! But I just remembered that my sister asked me to make one for her. I don't want to. I don't want to share my stuff and I want to keep this bookmark for myself. Can't she just make her own? Oh no! I love the way AJ's bookmark turned out, but we need to help him with what he's thinking. You're right, Dot. Friends, to help AJ, we need to put on our thinking caps. To finish sewing our thinking caps, what do we need? Glue or thread? Thread! That's right! Everyone hold up your needle and thread! Now, let's finish sewing our thinking caps. We did it! Now, Everyone reach up and grab your thinking cap and put it on. What, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Catch it, check it, change it right now. Catch it, check it, change it. You can catch any thought you have and you can check it with what God says is right and true. If you're not sure, just ask him. Then, if your thought doesn't match what God says, let him help you change it. Catch it, check it, change it. That's it. AJ needs to catch his thought. We do that by asking, what am I thinking? Makers, 
Was AJ thinking that he did not want to share with his sister? If you think so, nod your head like this. That's exactly what AJ was thinking. Now, we need to help him check that thought with what God says. I think we do that by reading God's word. Right, Clay? Right, Arunie. Do you boys and girls know what God's word is? The Bible. That's right. Makers, let's get ready to hear a story from the Bible by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. click. Now, let's put on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop, zoop. You look ready now. Check this out. This is Miriam. You may have heard of Miriam if you've heard about baby Moses. Miriam was Moses' older sister. When Moses' mommy had to put baby Moses in the river, Miriam did what was right and helped her brother. As Miriam grew up, she kept doing what was right and thinking the right things. God even gave her the special job of telling messages to his people. But then something happened. Miriam started to think things about her brother Moses that were not right. She thought it was not fair that Moses, her little brother, was in charge. She started talking about these unkind thoughts to her other brother Aaron. God was not happy about this. So he told all three of them to meet with him. God spoke to them in a pillar of cloud and asked why they said unkind things about Moses. When he was finished speaking to them, the cloud disappeared and Miriam's skin was as white as snow. Moses cried out to God and asked for Miriam to be healed. But God wanted Miriam to know that there are consequences for wrong thinking. So she had to wait seven days and then God healed her skin. You see, Miriam stopped thinking about what God wanted and only thought about what she wanted. What God wants is always right. So that's what we should think about. When we have a thought that's wrong, God can help us catch it, check it, and change it to something that is true, right, and good. With God's help, we can think about what he says is right. Say this after me. Think about, think about what is right. What is right. That's it. Makers, God can help us think about what is right. Let's tell AJ how to check his thought with what God says is right. How do we know what God says? Well, we can pray and ask him. And remember, we can look in the Bible. But the Bible is a big book. How do we know where to find something that will help? That's a great question, Dot. You can ask a grown-up to help. Good idea. Clay, you're a grown-up, so can you help? <laughs> you know it. Here's something in God's Word that will change AJ's mind about sharing. It says, don't forget to do good and share with others. AJ, did you hear that? I sure did. God is happy when I share with others, like my sister. But what happens if I start thinking all about me and what I want again? Well, you can remember that verse from God's Word, and you can ask God to help you think about what's right. Oh yeah, I can do that. You guys close your eyes and pray with me. Hey God, help me to think about what is right. Thank you, I love you, amen. Thank you, Clay and Buttons and Dot, bye. Bye. Looky there, AJ can think about what is right and so can you. I want to hear you say this after me. Think about, think about, what is right. What is right. Makers, you did it. You helped AJ know how he can catch it, check it and change it. Are you two thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking about my pet fish, Bubbles. Is that what you're thinking? No, but I'm sure Bubbles is a great pet. I think we need to celebrate with a song. Oh, me too. Makers, stand up and let's sing.
Think about what is true. Think about what is right. Think about good things. I can think. Think about what is true. Think about what is right. Think about good things. When you're scared or mad, worried or sad, let God change the way you think. When you're scared or mad, worried or sad, let God change the way you think. Great job, makers! That was so fun! But the fun is not done. I think it's time for us to play a great game. Colorful crayons! Let's play! Okay, makers. See if you can find two matching pictures. Do you think these two pictures match? No! What about these? Are they a match? No! Do these two pictures match? Yes! This match has a question for us. It asks, in our story, what kind of thoughts did Miriam have about her little brother Moses? Right thoughts or wrong thoughts? Wrong! Right, Aruni! Miriam had some wrong thinking happening for sure. But God helped Miriam stop thinking wrong thoughts and start thinking what is right. Let's play again. Are these pictures matching? No. What about these two? Are they a match? Yes. This match has a question for us too. It asks, if AJ wants to think about what is right, should he think about crying or sharing? Sharing! You got it, makers! Sharing is what the Bible tells us is right. When we have wrong thinking, we can ask God for help. He will help us think about what is right. Let me hear you say that after me. Think about... Think about... What is right? What is right? Good job, everybody. Whenever a thought pops into your mind, remember that God can help you. And so can our song. Makers, sing along with us. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Catch it. Check, Check it. it. Change it. it right, right now. now. That was perfect. Makers, as you go through your week, remember that God wants to help you change the way you think. And we will see you all next week. Bye-bye! Bye. You know, just like Miriam had wrong thoughts, we can have wrong thoughts too. When we have wrong thoughts that are only about what we want and not what God wants, He can help us catch them, check them, and change them to what is right. That's what we need to know today. Repeat after me. Think about what is right. There's a verse in the Bible that we have been learning that helps us to remember that God can help us change our thoughts. It's pretty easy for us, I think. 
So let's go over our verse. And if you want a little bit of a challenge, you can head over to the elementary school uh, Think About It episode and learn the longer one too. Okay, here we go. Repeat after me in a loud voice. Last week we did a whisper. So this week is a loud voice. It's not really a yell or a scream. It's almost a full shout. It's a little louder than what we would normally talk in. So let's do that together. In your loud voice, repeat after me. Let God change the way you think. Romans 12, 2. So great. And if you are coming to our in-person on our last Sun, our last week for Think About It, and you can tell me your verse, then you can get a prize from our goodie bag. All right, well, before I go, we should pray together. One hand up, the other hand up, together and down. Dear God, I want to think about what is right. Please help me think about what you say and what you want. I love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, that's all for me today. But until next time, be kind and make good choices. And remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. Bye!